Welcome to Mythic Machines. Today we're going to be working on Risky Biscuit, my 68 XR7 Mercury Cougar. Then we're going to be getting the A pillar panels and put in. Then you come over. Last video I showed. Did all the repair and modifications to the panel. The, not the panel, but the repair and modifications to the A-pillar. So now, we have to get our brand new pillar in. Not pillar. Now let's get our brand new panel in. So, as you know, when you did videos ago, when I showed, I cut out the panel and all that. A couple videos ago, so all that when I cut out my kick panel here, or a pillar panel, whatever you ever want to call it. Now when I cut it out, that my panel sits between my pillar and my roof. So I cut it off here, ground it down, same with the front and the down here too. So in order to get my new panel back in, I have to trim it. So you see where I made my marks. There, here. And on the bottom down here. So height. And how far forward I need to go. So I made my height mark, how high. And my length mark to where I need to cut it at. Same at the top. So I gotta cut out this corner here. And that will snug up against this. And I'll sit flush against this. And I'll sit down flush with that. Now, to cut it out, I'm not gonna use anything fancy, just a little cut off wheel, death wheel, or whatever you wanna call it. I'll make sure I cut it pretty straight. Just to help to hold it in place.
All right, see if we got to cut out. Well, it's got to fit. All right, you see? So it fits in there just like that. Got a little more of a gap than I wanted on top. I got to trim the back here where you can't see just a little bit more. So I just have my clamp on there to hold it for now. You see, got a little bit more of a gap than I wanted right here. But clean that up a little bit. Then down here, you know, a little more of a gap. But this all fits nicely. That sits where it's supposed to be. Right the inside. So I gotta make my spot weld holes there. Spot weld holes up the side. And do the same with the other side. And voila. I'll have me brand new panels. Alright, so now I'm gonna cut out my other side and fit that side in. So here we go. All right, I got my panel set in there. They look pretty decent. I'm gonna grab my firewall and set that and see what it looks like.
Alright, as you see there, that's all together, it's all on. And as you see, it's all on top of each other, but it's not fitting very well. Everything's supposed to be flush, but none of it is. And there, you get that little gap there. See, they all gaps in it. Everything just seems way off. Like this side seems a lot better than that side, but this side looks like it's not forward all the way or something. The cabbage there. Oh, yeah. But, running out of tail daylight for the day. So uh, that's where I'm going to stop it. And then I'm going to figure out what the hell. All right, we're back next day. You see, I got my top cowl on. Alignment and fitment purposes. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, and then you can see right there. And you see here, we're still gaffed with that. It's because this corner raised up a little bit when I cut out the old firewall. So, I just move it down a little bit. When I weld it, everything will look pretty damn good. Other than that, everything else is pretty straight on there. There's just that one little spot here that doesn't really line up that well. But like I said, just gotta weigh that down. It'll suck it in a little bit, and it'll be good. So now I gotta take everything back off. Prep all firewall panels and everything to be welded. Gotta put all those spot weld holes for everything for it in there. And that's it. I'm ready to weld it all in, get it all in, and I'll have somewhat of a complete car again. Huzzah! So that'll be it for this episode. I'll see you then. It's a beautiful sight there. It looks like a real cardigan.